Hello everyone, welcome back to the gaming flu and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Lies of P is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, black screen issue and even many more issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about when you are having this trouble, we can try with a simple restart. For this, we just need to go over here in the start, click on this particular icon, go for a restart. Once after restart is done, try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. This is what we have to do. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is, we just need to uh, run the game as an admin, uh, we need to run the game as an administrator because running the game as an administrator did work and for many users so we can try this out so we have two method where we can navigate to the installation folder first one we have a shortcut from lies of p right click go to the properties install it file and just click on the browse that will take you to this and now from here if you check at the top that is this pc local disk d steam library steam amps common lies of p so this is the game so the first one, we need to run the game from here. I mean, we need to launch the game from the installation folder. Many users, they launch the game from the Steam. So this is one of the main reason why many of the issues is happening for many of the users. Sometimes we should not be launching the game from the Steam. We should be launching the game from the installation folder. So I have already navigated to the installation folder. So right now I have to right click and just try launch the game first from here. If that is not working, we have to move to the next one that we need to launch the game from the installation folder. For this, what we need to do is apart from launching the game from the installation folder, we can also try parallelly two more steps. That is all about we have to run the game as an administrator. We have to run the game in the compatibility mode. So just go over here, thread this right click and we have to go to the show more option, go to the properties, compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for OK and try launch the game. This will be working for many of you guys, so you can try this out. If that is not working, we have to move to the next one. That is, we need to launch the game, sorry, run the game in the compatibility mode. So we can do same from here, right click, go to show more option, properties, compatibility. Now from here, click on run this program in the compatibility mode. So we can set this to Windows 7, go for apply and go for OK. Or we can set this to Windows 8, go for apply and go for OK and try launch the game. So once you launch the game, afterwards we just need to close this and we have to go back, try launch the game. That is what we have to do. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is, we just need to make sure the date, language, time and region should be correct. So in order to do this, we just need to go over here, search, navigate to settings. Now from here, go to time and language, go to the date and time make sure the time and time zone should be correct this is very important we have to turn on this as well as we have to turn on this go back and we have to go to language and region now from here we have to select this and make sure we uh, we have to set the language to uh, the country according to your uh, geography for example if you're from united states select united states if you're from united kingdom you have to select the united kingdom once you set this up, we just need to close this. We have to go back, try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. This is very important. Launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard and that will be working fine as well. So just launch the game and press. This worked for many users. I don't know how, but this did work it so you can try this out as well. Next one is all about we need to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer, go to this PC, we can go to the documents and now from here we'll be able to find the game over here. So it, when if you go to the my games, you will be able to find the lies of fee when you started playing the game and saving each progression, so it will be here. So you have to delete it and keep in mind when you delete it, you will be losing all the progressions of the game. That is very important and once afterwards we can try launch the game. Next one is all about, even after trying with this, the next one is all about, we need to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the search, go for control panel. So if it is not there, search for control panel, go to the control panel. Now from here, go to system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall, go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down and navigate to L, hence it is an alphabet. If you scroll down, you'll be able to find the lies of P. 
and we have to select both the private and public this is what we have to do once you set this up make sure this is checked so imagine if the game is not here we can add it by default that is just click change settings go for allow another app go for browse now go to this pc go to local disk c go to steam library steam apps common now go for lies of p select this one and go for open and add it so i'm getting the error because the game is already added so that is why i'm getting the error once the game is already added we just need to close this and we have to go back try launching the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the usb devices that is we might be connected with uh, many peripherals we might be connected with logitech wheels we might be connected with controllers joystick etc so these even cause sometimes the issue so just remove everything once you remove the controller joystick logitech pads etc now launch the game after the game is successfully launched if you wanted to continue play the game with the controller or joystick just connect it back and continue playing the game this worked for many users you can try this out as well next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is uh, what we need to do is we just need to uh, perform a clean boot that is very important so just go over here in the search we have to go to system configuration or type or search for system configuration navigate to the services go for disable all hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay so uh, the users who are watching this will be getting a restart option so just go for restart but here we are in the middle of sharing so i'm going to go for exit without restart after exit without restart try launch the game and that will be working fine next one is all about nothing but we have to disable the steam overlay for this we just need to go over here in the game right click and we have to go to the properties make sure this is turn it off if it is turn it on we have to turn this off try launch the game and once the game is successfully launched what we need to do is we just need to check whether the issue is solved or not most probably that will be working and instantly the same way it is a very important step that we have to give a command in the launch option this particular step did work for many games in my knowledge so we have to give the command the first one is nothing but we have to give dx11 so give the command dx11 try launching the game if dx11 is not working try giving the command dx12 and try launching the game so if dx11 or dx12 is not working try launching the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one that is all about we need to close all the overlay application so just go over here in the search select this one right click and we have to go to the task manager right now we have to go over here now from here you can see there are many things running in the background there are around 15 background process running in the background so when you launch the game what happens is at the same moment these things are running in the background which is causing the crashing issue so if you're not having enough spec you'll be definitely having the crossing issue crashing issue so what we need to do is we just need to remove the unwanted things for example discord we have to remove it reward tuner msa afterburner remove everything once you remove everything from here afterwards we just need to close this and we have to go back try launching the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search search for graphics settings that will take you to this now from here we have to scroll down and you can see i have already added many games same way we need to add the game so just click on the browse go to this pc go to local sd go to steam library steam apps go to common now from here we have to go over here in lies of p and we have to select this and go for add so once the game is added just go over here and navigate to the option and from here we can see let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save so set this to high performance and once you set this to high performance we just need to uh, close this make sure this is into high performance close this go back and we just need to try launch the game and that will be working fine as well next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here we need to search for view advanced system setting go to the advanced tab go to settings once again advanced once again go for change make sure this is blank and select the local disk where the game is installed so in my case the game is installed on d so i have to select this one go for custom size give the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total, total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so we need a calculator so let me type my ram first so the ram of my pc is 32 gb so i have to type this ram 
and multiply with a constant value that is 1024 and I have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings me this and I have to copy this paste value and I have to paste it. Next one that is uh, maximum size that is 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with uh, 98304 so that I have to multiply with 3 because it is maximum size 3 times the total RAM. So just go over here close this and we have to try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to install the Microsoft Visual C++. So what we need to do is we just need to go over here. Now from here go over here in the Microsoft Visual C++. Now from here we have to keep scrolling down and over here you can see the x64 based one and x86. So if the system is based on x64 we can download this one. If the system is based on x86 you can download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uninstall and reinstall the game for this we just need to go over here in the game right click and we have to go go manage uninstall the game for reinstalling it back we have to keep in mind when you're reinstalling it back if the game is uninstalled from c try installing it back on c or e not on same local disk Last and the least one which you can try is, we can try verify integrity of game file which is a very important step. So just go over here right click and we have to go to the properties, click on install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So once afterwards we can try launch the game and that is what we have to do. So these are the possible workaround. So let me wait this to reach 100% and I'll be giving you the next. So let this wait reach 100%.
So once afterwards, just close this, try launch it again. And these are the possible workaround which can be done when you are having this issue. I hope this video is helpful. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.